In the previous lecture, you learned that you can pass information called an argument to a function. The function stores that value in a parameter and use it within the function. Functions can accept more than one argument. When calling a function, you can pass multiple arguments to the function. Then each argument gets stored in a separate parameter and used as a separate variable within the function. Let's get back to the example of order pizza function between you and your pizza delivery. Perhaps you not only want to order a pizza, but also get something to drink when you order a pizza. Currently, the order pizza function is limited to just one item. You can add another parameter in the function definition by typing a comma followed by the parameter name. Let's call it drinks. Then update the parameter inside the function to use the new drinks. Now this function expects two arguments. When you call the function, pass the second argument by typing a comma followed by a value. Pepsi, for example. This function is now flexible enough for you to order different meals and drinks each time it's called. All right, now let's create a function that uses multiple parameters and arguments. To code along with me, first download the course folder from the link in the description below and open it with your favorite code editor. Here I'm using Visual Studio Code. From the course folder, open the exercise folder called JavaScript Functions. And then open the index.html file using Google Chrome. Here I also open the JavaScript console. In the index.html file, remember to link multiple params.js file. The function we are going to create will calculate the area of a rectangle. In multiple params.js file, I'll start by defining a function named calculate area. And the math for calculating the area is pretty straightforward. I'll just multiply the length of a rectangle by its width. Let's have this function accept the length value and the width value as parameters. Then inside the function, I'll define a variable named total area. Its value is the result of width times length. Next, let's have the function return the value of total area using a return statement. Now to use this function, I'll call it and pass it a length and width value. Let's say 150. Let's view the value in the console. Once the browser loads JavaScript, you can call any functions in your JavaScript file directly from the console. For example, I'll test this calculate area function by cutting the function call out of the file, saving the file, and pasting it in the console. I'll press enter. The function returns a total area of 5000. But 5000 what? I want to return a value that includes a unit of measurement, like square meters. For example, a value like 5000 square meters. To do that, I'll add a third parameter to the function called unit. But remember, a function can only return a single value. So I'll need to adjust the return statement to return a single string that holds the value of total area and the unit. To make that happen, I'll replace total area with template literal. That used the dollar sign curly brace syntax or string interpolation so that I can insert the values of total area and unit into the string like this. I'll save the change. Refresh the page. And back in the console, I'll press the up arrow key once to bring back the calculate area function call. This time I'll pass the unit value as a string. I'll press enter. Now the console outputs 5000 square meters. Good. At this point, one more thing I want to mention is that too many arguments, however, can make your functions difficult to manage. For example, passing 12 arguments to a function and adding 12 parameters to a function definition makes it challenging to track each value. In a future lecture, I will teach you more efficient ways to pass lots of pieces of information to a function with something called an array as well as an object literal that holds multiple values. For now, keep in mind that Passing more than four or five arguments to a function can make your function tedious to use and harder to read.